Bruce Lawn. There was a representative of Congress by the name of Emmanuel Cleaver from Missouri who was leading a prayer and decided to kind of switch up the language on it. And I figured I'd react to it because you guys have been asking me to react to it, share my thoughts on it. Uh, let me get this queued up here and we'll just jump right into it. This is uh, everybody. I guess everybody's talking about it. I, I, I'll tell you guys my thoughts afterwards. We ask it in the name of the monotheistic God, Brahma, and God known by many names, by many different faiths. Amen. And a woman. Now, this is to me when I saw this, and people was like, "Yo, what do you think about it?" <laughs> I mean, it's like, come on, what is there to think? This is hilarious. This is funny. I don't find this. Uh, I, I, I don't f find this that wild. I mean, this is to me when uh, keeping it real goes wrong when 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 trying to disrupt the patriarchy goes wrong the whole situation is hilarious top to bottom a man and a woman he's trying to be so inclusive he's trying to you know disrupt the the patriarchy all these shenanigans which i just think is i thought it was funny like i just thought it was funny sometimes when people do and say foolish things it's just funny. It's, it's you don't gotta you know you don't it's not, not it's not that deep to me. But I'm gonna pull something back here and I, I shout out to what do you mean, um, my buddy John, who's a friend of the channel, and he showed this on his channel. But he pointed something out that I think is the tail tail sign giveaway. Uh, listen to whose name he prays in. Listen carefully. Oh Lord, peace even in this chamber, now and evermore. We ask it in the name of the monotheistic God, Brahma. We ask it in the name of the monotheistic God, Brahma. That is a Hindu God, okay? That is a Hindu God uh, that is not the God of the Bible. He's praying in a whole nother God's name, and then he hits us with a, you know, a little tie-in to make sure everybody feels inclusive. And God known by many names by many different faiths. And God known by many names and many different faiths. He's not praying in the name of Jesus. He's not praying to the God of the Bible. He's praying to Brahma, Hindu God, many different names. You know, uh, what? Like, so for him to then go on and say, a man and a woman is okay. Like this dude is, a, this is hilarious. Like this is, this is where the left completely loses it. Like this is where they just get so out of the box. They're so open-minded. They're so inclusive that, you know, don't be so open-minded where your brain falls out. That's ultimately what my thoughts on this. And so I didn't even really think about it. Now, from a theological standpoint, the word amen is not it's not a, a masculine term. The, the, the word amen in the original Hebrew just means so be it or, you, or agreed upon, right? That's, that's if you pull up your blue letter Bible, adding masculine or receiving masculinity from it doesn't even make sense. That's not even how the word is being used. And that's like, I mean, when, just one more time. So guys, the moral of the story, the moral of the story is don't be so open-minded where your brain falls out. Don't be inclusive where nobody even knows what the heck you're talking about anymore. If you want to pray to a deity, if you want to pray to the creator, cool. But now you're not praying in the name of Jesus. You're praying in the name of a different God, and then you try to infuse Christian people of faith by adding, you know, in, in the name of, of the God known by many names and this whole thing. The whole thing is silly. The whole thing is goofy. I saw this and just chuckled. Like, that's all I did. So for me, 
I don't find this stuff uh, uh, offensive to me personally because he's not praying in the name of Jesus. This isn't a distortion of Christianity. This is, let's try to be as inclusive as possible. Let's just make sure that, oh, we can just bring everyone together and we won and all that kind of stuff. And apparently this dude is a reverend. Apparently this dude is a pastor. I don't know that much about Emmanuel Cleaver. I've heard that. And, and if he is a reverend, then I would just say, goodness gracious, this isn't bad theology, right? This is just poor hermeneutics. Poor Hebrew and Greek, uh, poor understanding of just the very basics of prayer and whose name we're to be praying in. That's if he's a minister. I don't know, but it's neither here nor there. I thought this was funny. You guys kept asking me to react to it. So there you have it. Kingstream Entertainment. Bruce Lawn. Yeah. Conversations front of the fireplace. All of my mistakes out of why erase. Wanna operate at a higher pace Birth pains causing the body to dilate On a first name basis with the worst pain facing Moments in isolation See, I was hoping I would do this to get more family time A busy mind and worried heart is this now where I reside I subscribed that all that traveling wasn't doing well For my soul, glad I never made it when my name went through the rumor mill I suppose that the Lord knows how to fail Instead I'm doing well at home, out my shelf Good book off the shelf, more dubs off the L's I told Ray they ain't just gon' know us, they gon' know us well Happy that I fell my way to success With my family by my side, Lord knows what's next Yeah, I shoot where the king came down and bore it all I know a few things, never claimed to know it all But I know it's off, never noticed y'all